welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my skincare and five minute everyday makeup routine. Heaps of you guys have requested a skincare video and what I use for my skin. I've been trying out some new products lately that I'd love to share with you all. So I've included my skincare routine and the products that I use that I find that have really helped unclog my pores and bumps underneath my skin, which I was suffering for, for a long time and then I've done this makeup look which took me literally five minutes and I'm pretty sure I only use like five products so if you'd like to see my skincare and five minute makeup routine then just keep on watching so my first product that I use in my everyday skincare routine is the Fizohex antibacterial face wash helps fight bacteria responsible for skin problems which is what I've been suffering from the past couple months and I've found that I tend to get more bumps underneath my skin rather than actual whitehead pimples and I find that this has really helped clear my forehead especially like my forehead was really really bumpy and now I find that it's very very smooth so it's also a skin cleanser, so it removes dirt and oil from blocked pores without upsetting the normal pH level of the skin. And I use this morning and night. For those that are probably going to ask where I got it from, I got it from Coles, but I'm pretty sure most pharmacies stock it as well. So basically what I like to do is I like to wash my face with it twice. So the first layer to get absolutely everything from the surface of my face. And then I go in with it again just to make sure it goes into my skin. Then I like to take my Ultraceuticals Balancing Gel Cleanser. So ever since I've been to the girls at Australian Skin Clinics, they stock this brand of skincare and I love it. It just feels really nice on your face when you're massaging it into your skin. So just put a generous amount on and just really lather it up and kind of massage it in my skin for a few minutes. And then of course, wash it all off with the lukewarm water. Then because it's winter and I need some extra hydration, in my skin, I use the Ultraceuticals Ultra B Hydrating Serum. I just pop two pumps all over my face. And finally, for my moisturizer, I use the Ultraceuticals Ultra Hydrating Lotion. I love it because it's super lightweight and yeah, it smells really nice. So, so I usually apply that morning and night, just a little bit on my fingertips and just massaging that on my face and that is my skincare routine at the moment i'm loving it and now on to makeup okay so let's get started so my everyday makeup look probably consists of using one two three four five products max this is just a look that i do when i'm just rushing out the door if i want to just go to the shops and i want to put a little bit of coverage on because my skin hasn't been the best lately, so I just like to cover them mainly and then mascara and lip balm and I'm done. I thought I would share with you like my quick five minute um, makeup routine and of course show you guys the products that I use and have been really loving lately. So firstly, I like to go in with my Benefit Professional. I honestly cannot live without this stuff. I have really deep pores like around my nose so I feel like this really helps in filling them up because I just did my skincare part of the video my face is super flared up um, it always happens when I've just finished my skincare routine especially after I put moisturizer and stuff on all the redness seems to come out and my face is a little bit shiny because I had a mandelic peel um, from Australian skin clinics the other day so yeah. So you may have seen that I recently got a package from Anika Organic Makeup. I had never heard of this makeup brand before, but I'm always curious to try new stuff. And heaps of people DM'd me and said, like, this is really, really good. And the girls at Australian Skin Clinics do recommend that I use a organic foundation and powder throughout the day because obviously non-organic makeup brands could tend to clog your pores and like therefore result in blemishes so i've tried this and i feel like my skin has definitely improved since using it just because i'm not putting on and packing on heaps of product from 
non-organic brands, but yeah, so I've been using this Anika Organic Liquid Foundation. I only put a few pumps on. This one's in the shade Beige. And I still go ahead and just use it on a beauty blender. So I've just got a few pumps on the back. This foundation coverage isn't full. It's probably like more light to medium, but it's definitely buildable if you want. But for every day, and especially when I'm in a rush and I only have like five or so minutes to do my makeup, I just do one layer all over because I feel like that's enough. If I feel like I need any more around my blemishes, I'll put a little bit more. But otherwise, the powder that I put on top is pretty full coverage as well. I've just swapped to a beauty blender. I find that they're a bit more squishier and easy to use. So I'm just still using the foundation. I feel like my forehead has really improved since using Pfizer Hex. Um, just because it is antibacterial and I feel like... When you have so many bumps underneath the skin, it's just like bacteria build up. So I feel like that's definitely helped in um, removing all of the clogged pores from underneath my skin. So that's the foundation done. Now I'm going to conceal using the Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. It is fairly new in the makeup world. Just popping some underneath my eyes. I don't do the whole highlighting the center of the face because nobody's got time for that when you're in a rush, let's be real. And just blending that out. That is in the shade Natural Beige. So I'm just going over my eyelids as well to prime them. So baking really isn't necessary when you have five minutes to do your makeup. So all I do is I just take the Rimmel Translucent Powder and use that to set the concealer on my eyelids as well. Now on to set the face because I have oily AF skin. So I'm just gonna use the Anika Loose Powder Foundation. This one's in the shade Freedom N7. And just on a large powder brush, using that just to set my foundation. All I really like to achieve when I'm just doing this five minute makeup look is just to ensure my skin is all nice and even. I don't go with any crazy contouring or anything like that. So then I just grab a bronzer. I just take the NARS Casino Bronzer on a bronzing brush. This one is from Real Techniques. And I'll just go and warm up the face very slightly. But yeah, again, not really necessary. I just like having an even face. But yeah, that is all I do bronzer-wise. Skip the blush because I'm not much of a blush fan. And highlighter, cannot forget highlighter. I feel like that just completes your base and just makes it look really nice and radiant and natural. So the highlighter I've been loving recently is the Laura Mercier Indiscretion Highlighter. It's so beautiful. And I just place that on my cheekbones underneath here, above there, here, and there. Done. For eyeshadow, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. If I'm just in a massive rush and I just want some sort of color on my lid, I just take a color like this. This one is from the so Eva Coco Blends palette. I just take a shade like this on a large blend brush and all I do is I just pop that literally all over the lid and blending it into my crease, like just like that. And then dragging it underneath too. For inner corner highlight, cannot leave the house with an inner corner highlight. I'm just gonna take my Laura Mercier Indiscretion and pop that on my inner corners and sometimes I just like to put it over the lid as well so that is eyes done then I just go in with mascara just going to curl my lashes first this is just the Napoleon lash curler going in with the benefit bad gal bang mascara Curling your lashes seriously makes the biggest difference. 
I steal it all the time. And then I did it recently and I was like, what the hell? How have I just randomly stopped doing this? It's literally life changing. Then for lips, all I usually do is I just put on some of my Carmex lip balm. Then finally, if I have time, I'll go in with the Gimme Brow by Benefit in the shade number three and just go over my brows. Most of the time, I either forget to do this or cannot be bothered just because my eyebrows are tattooed for a reason and I just want to do as less maintenance to my brows as possible. So that is my five minute out the door easy makeup look. I hope you guys liked this video and if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos every week and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys. Oh,